what's going on everyone and welcome back to another episode of farm manager 2021 we are back on our little farm as our workers here come out of the houses and start heading down in a single file line down to start getting the fields harvested up but we did do some work over in our little orchard area and let me just kind of zoom out so you guys can see we placed down some more of some seasonal worker houses here and then got a lot more of the tools and equipments that we would need for this side and got rid of the plows and stuff over here because we didn't really need it anymore so now the fields are going over here to be harvested up which is great so we're going to be harvesting up some apricots over here we have some plums which is just awesome and then i think on this side it is the pears yes so it looks like where are we getting these other set of people oh okay so did they already finish this field yes this one is already finished so these guys are heading from this side to come over and help out with these this field over here and hopefully they'll help out with some of these but i'm hoping that the 32 people that we have over here hopefully that's enough to get everything harvested up so what i want to do let's kind of speed the game up just a bit here um as you guys can see here we have a ton of soya now which we don't have to really worry about it as much we're bringing in a bunch of oats still from the fields that we kind of placed down in the last episode over in this area here we have our soya field over there that's done then we have a wheat field here and then a wheat field here that has the combine harvester on there going in and you no know, gathering all of our stuff and then this field right here is some more rye right um is this one this one looks like it's been harvested up already oh no okay yeah this field here this apple orchard i kind of planted this one a little bit late because we didn't have a planter over here that could actually get the field done so the field was sitting here for quite some time and i was wondering like what the heck is going on and then i kind of looked and i was like oh yeah didn't have a planter so i still haven't put in the irrigation system for majority of these because right now we're only sitting on 1498 of uh money and that's not a lot <laughs> that's not a lot 1.5 million that's not a lot right now so we have some big plans that we want to do for this episode but we're going to need a ton of money to be able to do it and i did mention that we are going to be selling a lot of the harvest from these initial orchards that we're going to have here and we're not going to be going in and building the factories to kind of use these right away so we're going to sell it and then kind of take that money and then use it to fund all of our building plans that we have to do in the future. So what I want to do, let's head over to the uh, market here and I let's go in and kind of look at some of the trade items that we have. Um, I'm going to get rid of the apples that we have here. I'm going to take this off and then the apricots we're gonna take this off as well because what i want to do i want to add a trade item and i want to do them where i have all of these guys in one area so we have the plums we have the pears we have the apples the cherries and the apricots so these are all the sapling or the trees the orchard trees that we can use so now we have all of these set up I'm still going to be selling a bunch of apples because I don't need a lot of this in um, the pears for now. I do want to just sell all of these manually so I can actually see how much money we're actually making. Off. All right. So the apples we could sell. The plums are being harvested and the pears over here are being harvested. So hopefully these guys are going out right now. Um, we do have two tractors out that tractor is over there and then this one is over on this side that's that young fella that's in there and is this um, my next driver no it's not um i have a tractor coming in over here and i think this is my yeah this is my driver from over here so she's probably coming to grab a trailer or something yep and then she's gonna go and i think she's grabbing up the stuff for this field so i'm hoping that we do have enough people over here to be able to harvest up all of this stuff which would be great for us. Yeah, because they're hitting this field and then finishing up all of these. So these three fields are being done right now. 
let's kind of see how much we have inside of the storehouse because it looks like oh wow we're filling this stuff up relatively quickly but let's see what we have we have 44,000 pears 53,000 uh cherries 21,000 apricots and i don't see any plums in here as yet once we get a harvest of plums we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna sell all of this wait a minute what is why do i have 34,000 boar meat do we were we not trading boar meat hold on boar oh no we were not oh okay so we we definitely need to add that on here but i <laughs> i do want to see how much money i've actually wasted Thirty-four thousand boar meat let's go to sell and let's see how much of the boar meat we actually have sitting 1.7 million oh man that's probably why we weren't making a lot of money so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna sell all of this here sell all that boar meat so that way i can make some money off of that and we are now sitting on almost four million dollars which is just fantastic let's see so we're gonna grab the pears all right, we're gonna sell all of the pairs. That's only two hundred and seventy-one thousand. That's not a lot. It's a decent amount. A decent amount. That's not not crazy crazy amount. Um, let's grab the apricots. We have twenty-one thousand apricots. Whoa, five hundred and seventy-six thousand for the apricots. Beautiful. And then for the oh autumn. Okay, hey autumn. And then cherries. Let's see what we have. Three hundred and sixty-six thousand. So over a million dollars right here just for these three items that we have. Plus, we are harvesting up some more. So I'm going to go ahead and sell all of these right off the bat. So we are now up to 5.2 million and we have these fields coming in again. Oh, I cannot wait. Did we get some more pairs in? Yes, we did. We're now sitting on 73,000. Oh, 73,000 pairs. Sell. Pairs. Where are the pairs? $73,449,000. Go ahead and sell that as well. Give me some money. $5.8 million. Yes. Now we have a decent amount of money. We are just sitting on it. Now we can go over and start doing some work that we want to do for this episode. I do want to still want to keep an eye on a lot of the stuff over here. Um right now we still only have these two fields going i don't know where i have a tractor sitting here where's my next person where are you located right now what are you doing you are working are you driving okay so you're in that vehicle and i think the other guy should be in this vehicle over here we have drivers coming all the way from over here whoa who's this okay you're not supposed to be over here you're driving to go grab something don't know what but hopefully these amount of the amount of people that we have here should be enough to be able to take care of all the other fields uh this one is about to be done there's just this little section here and then this section yeah we have a few trees over here that still needs to be harvested up all right so we're getting up more wheat that's looking relatively nice. 155,000. That's nice. 155,000. Beautiful. Soya is looking good. The oats is looking good. Everything up here is looking relatively nice, except for the flowers. <laughs> we're, we're still kind of struggling on. What else do we have in here? 5.3 million. Nope, not the garage. This. So we have 60,000 of the cherries that we can sell. And we do have some plums coming in. We're going to wait for the plums to come in and then we will actually sell both of these and kind of see how much money we make off of these 60,000 with the plums that we're about to sell so come on bring me my nice harvest of plums let me see how much money I make off of these all right head in here sell sell the plums beautiful plums five okay another half a million which is not too bad and then cherries another 60k another 400,000 so almost another million dollars with this so let's go ahead and let's sell that nice we're now sitting on 6.3 million which is just fantastic so this looks like it's good we should be able to finish up everything we have um three 
four fields that are already done. So we only have another three to go. These two here and then these two down here. So once this is done, they should go over here and start harvesting this up. So we should be finished by roughly around mid-November. Okay. So we're not going to worry about anything else that's going on over here. These orchards are now done and they're resting, waiting for the next harvest of next year. So we're going to come over into... Oops, don't want to pause. Don't, we're going to come over into this section over here where we kind of did a lot of work on our roads when we purchased um, these bits of land in the last episode. And we're going to need a few things over here. Um, I was thinking to be able to get down the mills so that we can get uh, the factory, the bakery is over here up and running again. That would be relatively nice to do. But I want to put down some other buildings first over here just to make sure that my spacing and everything is good. I technically don't really have to. How big are these mills? Because the buildings that I want to put down are pretty massive. Let's go to production. I was thinking of placing down the um, oil factory because we have a lot of... Oh, speaking of that, because we have a lot of these little crops that we can already use. So the soya, the flax, the sunflowers, and the colza. The only thing that we're selling is the hemp. So let's head in here and make sure that we're not trading any hemp because we need to be stockpiling the hemp as of right now. So we're going to take that off just for the time being. And I want to put down the oil factories first, but I don't really want to hire up a lot of people to be able to run those because I don't think we're going to have a lot of that stuff that we can burn through while still maintaining our healthy supply of stuff that we have. Even though it's going to be the end of the year, so it's actually, it would be fine. So let's go ahead and do the oil factory. Uh, we just got some colza in. I don't think we're selling colza or the sunflowers. What we have right now should be sufficient, the crops. So let's go ahead and let's place these. These things are just massive. And I want to place... Um. With the road on this side, so we're going to have like a main road coming down uh, through here. And I'm going to put this one right next to it right here. All right. And then we're going to come over this side and then build up another few. Like so. All right. So now we have this gap in between, which I could have just pulled these over and just have all four of them like right in the middle. But this should be good. Can I put a double road in between this? I can. So I could put a double road coming up here. Yeah, let's kind of change things up just a bit here. We should be able to have like a little spot where we can throw down some trees and stuff. So let's run this up here. So this should be fine. And we have a nice little spot in between and we could put some decorations and stuff. Um, we are going to need a few houses. And I just need to see how many people these buildings actually take up. Um, we go to the build and let's see. Oops. No, 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 no. We want to see how many crops this actually have. I think it's five different crops. So the coals of the flax, the sunflowers, the soya and the hemp. Yes. So we only have four factories. So we are going to need another factory down. If we're going to put down another one, more than likely I will drop it either right here like right in the middle. So we'll have the five like really close by each other and then put like some houses like in the vicinity of all of these. Let's go ahead. Let's drop that down here as well. And we'll get the road and we'll do the same thing with all of these since we don't want it to be just connected up to the uh, to the main road here. Let's grab this and do it something like that. All right. So these are our five oil factories that we're going to have running then we're going to need our two mills now these aren't as big but i'm thinking if we have something where we can just put the mills right here so we'll have the two mills that are right next to each other don't really need to really worry about decorations or anything like that we'll put these two mills right there and then get the roads ran for these bad boys as well um so since we are going to put houses like right in this little area right here we're gonna put the roads like this and get them connected up 
Come on. There we go. Yeah, all right. We'll just do that little outcropping right there. Beautiful. So these are, this is a lot of buildings down. And I'm going to make sure that I hold on to a decent amount of money. We'll let all of this stuff build up. And then we'll kind of look around the farm just to make sure everything else is good. Um, I do remember that we did put down these little chicken coops over here. We're, we're literally losing money off of these every month that they're just sitting here. But we could fill them up and then just sell whatever we're... Wait a minute. Oh, no. The ducks and all of this stuff that we're going to get over here, we're just going to be feeding them a bunch of stuff and not being able to... Uh, <laughs> not being able to do anything with it. So let's go ahead uh yeah let's go ahead and get these buildings filled we're gonna need a few social buildings over here for workers um i'm gonna put one here and then another one here i think 16 should be good enough one of them might not be filled but if it's not we might be able to use some workers over here if i can get a road can i even get a road ran past this section i can't these houses need to be connected up run this down boom there we go um i need to get some animal people head in here to see animals how many animals can we get two one two awesome head out and we'll get one person in each of these for now until oh we have a bunch of people that's not really working so you and I will assign the next animal person right here. So for these two, what are we going to place in? We have chickens already, so we can go with the quell. We can go with the geese and we can go with the ducks and the turkeys. Right now, I don't think the turkeys lay eggs and I don't think the ducks and the geese do. I think we just kind of butcher these to be able to get meat from them. So I'm going to go with the quell over here and I will buy up a few of these you know what let's just buy up everything let's just get all of these guys let's go with you and grab all of you okay so buckwheat i am actually selling my buckwheat more wheat ah oh, that's a lot i'm gonna apples and buckwheat so now i have to hold on to some buckwheat i'm gonna head over here and go to my trade that i had for buckwheat and i'm gonna keep uh maybe two thousand of the buckwheat on hand so sell anything above the 2,000 buckwheat that we have. All right. And then if I can find that third person. Sign. Yeah. Don't know where he went. Let's see if we can hire some more people. Let's run the game. Get these animals delivered. And then I have to change this one out for the turkeys. Just got to remember that. All right. I think we might be able to head in here and kind of hire up some more people or animals. Nope, no animal people yet. So we'll wait until the fourth, then we'll go back and check. Where are the trucks? Come on, trucks. All right. So these guys here, I don't want them, so I'm going to sell them all. Again, it's a waste of money. Yes, I know. <laughs> I need the turkeys over here. And I'm only going to get five of the turkeys, and we can just refill them. Oh, wow. So you take the colza, the oats. You take grass, which is great. I'm not going to feed you my rye. I will rather give you corn. All right, so these guys are getting full. Turkeys are actually pretty good. Yeah, I have a ton of oats. Uh, this stuff is good. You're good. And then for the quells, the quells are good. I'm not going to give them my flax. I'm not making linseed seeds. I'm just selling them right now. I could save some and feed it. To them. You know what? Yes, let's go in here. And let's go to trade. Let's find the linseed. Linseed, I will keep anything above let's keep above 1000 i think this is the only thing i need linseed for right now we'll sell anything above that so there we go so now we actually have enough animals in this one is actually full yes this one is full this person needs some more people in here i have two here four here let's hire another two if we can um, I don't think these guys really give us anything. So we're just supposed to have them there and then just kind of use them for meat. I think. Did we get anything for this? One? No, not yet. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Not yet. Definitely. Not. If I can't do anything with them, like 
all of these bad boys that's here. I'm just going to sell a few of them just so we can have them reproducing. So we're going to sell down to maybe 15 of them. We don't need as many. For the quells, these guys are grabbing the food for them. They make the eggs. So the quell eggs, we will set up a sale for. There we go. All right. So, oh, wait, did we still set up the boar? Did we set up the boars? Did we set up the boars? Double check. We did not say sell anything above zero for the boars. The oats, the only thing you're missing is the buckwheat, but you'll be fine. You are missing the buckwheat, but you guys will be fine for now. Until we get the buckwheat, in, you'll be fine. Uh, I don't think we're growing anything else over here. Just finishing up the fields. All right. So this stuff over here is now done. We can actually start focusing on this. And then we could be good. How many people do we take here? Four people over here. How much hemp do we currently have in stock? Did we sell all of our hemp? We. It looks like we did. Okay, so we won't do the hemp. The colza. Ah, we're going to need a factory. Not a factory. We're going to need a warehouse over here. Because everything is kind of far and maybe we will need like another logistic building because this one is all the way over here. Even though it's close enough to these, it's like right on the edge. So let's grab another uh, logistics building. So let's put it here. We're going to put that right there. Let's get down some more of the permanent worker houses that we can just fit in this little slot right here. Uh, 16 that's four of these and then we should be able to get one more that should be able to fill up all of these buildings over here so let's go ahead and let's throw down some power over here for all of these buildings i'm going to place you actually right here so you can overlap a lot of the buildings so place you here and then I'm going to place another one right there. Then we're going to run this and just get this kind of connected up. There we go. Now this whole area here should have power. We have one house that's right here that is now done. Uh, Yeah, this is everything in here is like really compact. So <laughs> it takes a while for everything to just kind of like select. Let's head into manufacturing. We're going to need a ton of people. All right. So let's see, it looks like all of our fields are now done. Our orchards are all harvested. Yes, they are, which is great. Just fantastic. Okay, so we do, these houses that we have over here are enough to be able to keep up with everything. So now I just have like eight idle workers just sitting in here, not really doing anything because it's the end of the year. Uh... Field work is happening over here. We're just grabbing up the rest of the bales on this side, which is great. And cultivating over here. And I just need to grab more and more people, which I'm going to try and do. And just make sure that everything is ready to go. I have, oh man, you're really expensive. You know what? You're not good at manufacturing, but you have endurance. So I'm going to grab you and you're pretty cheap. You're another one, Endurance. I'm going to grab a bunch of these Endurance people since they're really, really cheap and I really need a lot of these guys right now. Um, You're... Oh, okay. Let's grab them anyways. Okay. So we should have a bunch of people. You should already be working, but I'm going to throw some more people in here for you so you can definitely give you one of them and give you this one and this one. So you have four people working for you. Get this person completely leveled up. No manual work. And this is going to be the flax. We will definitely get the flax going as well, too. And we'll put our two other people in here. Yes, they're not good at manufacturing, but I I prefer to get them um, in here and start working right out right away, to be honest. Let's take them off of here. Um, I do want you to be as happy as possible. So let's pull the work hours down just a little bit for everyone. And untick all of these boxes for the allow manual work. So 75% happy. You guys are great. Once we put some decorations and stuff in front of these, these guys will be just ecstatic. <laughs> They'll be more than happy to be able to do this stuff. 
Um, they have to walk pretty far to go to a silo. So let's get a warehouse. And we just need a really, really small silo right now that we can put down. I'm going to drop you right in the middle here. And then put this one right in the middle here. So that way they don't have to go as far. They just come over here, grab what they need to grab from this silo. And they're more than happy. More than happy. They'll be good. Uh, you guys won't need to come across the road. So I'm going to give you your own silo as well. Right here. It's going to be right behind, actually right over on this side. So you just walk out and you actually come straight in here and grab the stuff that you need. All right, there we go. Three little silos. This is looking good. Let's get a road for this building here. Connect it up. So now they have the logistics building that they can use. And it's just a matter of just kind of going through and just hiring up more and more people. This one needs one more person. Let's see if we can find them before we call this an episode. There's one person here and then there. Oh, this building is full. awesome. Let's grab this other building and let's grab this other manufacturing person. That's another twenty seven hundred. Are there any more endurance people over here? Just endurance. Yep, there's one more. I'll grab you. Let's go. We're going to come over here. That building's full. This one is about to be because I'm going to throw in you and you. So, yeah. So all I'm going to do now, guys, I'm just going to go through and just make sure that just make sure that all of this is staffed up. Um, I don't really need to get all of them. The hemp, we can't really do anything with it because we don't have any hemp in stock right now. But all of the soya, the sunflower, the poles of the flax, we can get these ones up and running. Um, we have one more person that we can throw in here. There we go. Oh, you're a manufacturer as well. How many people? OK, you're good. You're good. OK, so I guess I did hire an extra manufacturing person over here. There we go. OK, so now all of this is going to be just fantastic. Just need to get some more people in and we will be fine. All right. So we need six more people to be. Able oh, I'm such a fool. Such a fool. I should have done these buildings over here first before doing any of these ones, because this is the stuff that we need. Change production here and you're going to be making uh, wheat flour. And this one change production, you are going to be making rye flour. There we go. Once we switch over, hopefully we can find a decent amount of people in here and we'll just get all of this done. But I think with that, guys, we're going to go ahead and we're going to wrap this up here. Uh, we have a lot of stuff that we need to kind of fill up and get staffed. We're still sitting on 4.2 million. Man, these orchards have really, really helped us and sent us flying. I think this is the first time we've actually went up to this much money. Uh, so, yeah, that's actually pretty, pretty good. Uh, let's see what the budget looks like before we head out of here. So every month we are making 4.2 million dollars a month. Oh, no, 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 no. Whoops. Whoops, sorry, sorry. We're making 430,000 a month. 4.2 million was act what was actually inside of our uh, account. So we're we're up to 700,000 a month in monthly wages, which is pretty massive. I don't think there's any way for us to kind of drop that down. Production, we're almost at a million, but we are pulling in a ton of money. Yeah, we're pulling in a ton. Factories are definitely giving us a nice income here, and the fields are giving us a ton of money as well. So we are spending quite a lot yearly. We're making 5.5. So we did kind of drop down just a little bit. And I do know that's because we threw in all of these buildings and we hired in a bunch of people. So we do have to keep an eye on this. What is this saying? Buckwheat, we don't have the mill. OK, mill on a sign, oil factory on a sign, rye flour on a sign. That's perfectly fine. It's the second. Let's see if we can find some people that we can just use to just fill out the rest of the stuff that we have. Just a bunch of endurance people here uh you're too expensive i will grab you and i'm gonna throw you over here actually just so you can start working in this building just to get me some flour there we go what i might do instead of waiting nope let's just fast forward and see if we can just get as many people as we possibly can all right slow it down just a bit here now let's go back in and see so all right, everyone, we're going to go ahead and we're going to wrap this up here. So I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, don't forget to like, share and leave a comment in the comment section below. 
if you guys are new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and smash that subscribe button and also hit the notification bell to get notified of when new content get posted to the channel and until next time everyone big up on yourself <laughs>